Welcome back to the Dark Reading News Desk. Terry Sweeney here with Dark Reading, and I'm joined now by Rakesh Nair, Senior Vice President of Product and Engineering with Devo. Rakesh, thank you so much for joining us on News Desk. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Appreciate you being here. Um, we are talking about SIEM, uh, Security Information and Event Management. Um, the market has matured relatively quickly in comparison to other enterprise security technology segments. Can we just start? I'd be curious to know your characterization of the current state of the SIM market and the technology. Sure. I think uh, one aspect to keep in mind is that there's a lot of companies trying to do data-driven decision-making at this point. Uh, while we SIM is a relatively mature space when you look at it as a SIM, I think it is a, an evolution from a SIM to a security data platform that is happening, uh, bringing a technology convergence, so to say, sure. into that uh, uh, um, kind of umbrella term that we're using as SIM. Uh, so if you look at some of the acquisitions and consolidation that has been happening, it is to bring some of those technologies together to make it much more useful for the end user, uh, make it faster, make it smarter. That is the mantra that we're seeing. So I think the evolution will continue. I still believe it's a, a 2.5 billion market currently and growing to a 4 billion market in the next few years. So there's still a lot of room for growth here. The, the business premise with SIM has been to help break down the, the silos that have dominated and, and actually kept uh, security management at a bit of a disadvantage over the years. Has SIM achieved this goal of breaking down those, those technology silos? Oh, absolutely, yes. And I think one of the trends that I'm seeing uh, recently is around data convergence. Um, a lot of customers are now trying to not just bring security data into a unified data platform, but also other data sets. Uh, so they want all of the data residing in one place, but then build vertical applications on top of it that caters to either security or IT ops or other functions. So I think the, the, the trend of bringing security data together, that's, that's been, I'll probably say we are a good way into that journey. Uh, but I, I, I do see it evolving into bringing all data into one unified data analytics platform uh, going forward into the future. I, I don't want to artificially inject AI into the conversation. Uh, it may not be relevant here, but what can you see out on the horizon that will that will further hasten the integrations that that seem to have driven so much of Sims momentum thus far? Yeah, I mean, if you look at it, and I think if you look at a few years back, there was Sim, there was a sore market evolving. I think right now, I think that two markets are now consolidating into one. There was a lot of UEBA vendors. Now UEBA is being subsumed as part of the security data platform, uh, and I see a similar trend with data orchestration where. Uh, cust customers want to control how they manage the data. They want it to be hot, warm, cold, and being able to move data across some of those uh, uh, availability zones there. Uh, and, and the same applies to AI as well. There's a, a lot of, uh, I think last year when I was at Black Hat, I noticed there's a lot of companies using AI as the core philosophy of their product. But I think the right model here would be to infuse AI into everything we do. Every layer we do, so it becomes more smarter, UEB gets smarter and smarter, so every aspect of the security data platform will, have, will see an infusion of AI to make it much more a smarter platform. Thank you, that may be the most thoughtful response about AI that I've heard this entire conference so far. That, that was actually, thank you, I appreciate that. Um, but speaking of competition and, and, and complementary technology, there are also predictions about security orchestration, automation and response, the, the SOAR technology, um, as well as XDR, extended detection and response. Um, from some perspectives, it, it looked as if these were going to compete with SIM. Uh, and from, from others believe these are more complementary technology. Um, what do you make of that? Are, do, do these compete? Do they, do they combine better together? What's, what's your sense? I think a few years back when EDR started out, I think there was this notion that uh, both these platforms will converge into one, which haven't happened much, and I've been looking into it a little bit. And one of the things I noticed is that when you have to do detection and quick response, you have to go really deep with the data, uh, which is not necessarily the use cases we want to solve when you have to go broader and do data-driven decision making. That is breadth, that is long storage of data. Uh, while XDR has been, uh, I think they, they still, the amount of storage uh, we're looking at from an XDR perspective is relatively smaller as opposed to kind of uh, the thinking as a platform from a SIM perspective, which is measured in a year or two years as opposed to uh, days and weeks. And so I think that is definitely one, the, the vertical depth versus horizontal breadth, I think that still is, over time it may converge and 
but it's a very hard problem to solve when you have to really go deep and broad across all data sets at this point. Rakesh, as you look out across the horizon, I'm curious what new features are emerging that, that sim buyers and users uh, should be looking at in the next several months or, or quarters ahead? Uh, yeah, you know, I think the one of the things that I would definitely ask them to do is look at how the platform is evolving. Um, and like I said, the sim platform has to evolve and just bringing data to one place and doing correlation uh, that was yesterday's technology, but you have to look at platforms that are uh, capable of full automation, capable of uh, infusing UEBA, MLAI technologies into the system. The ones that evolved to be becoming a to, to become a security data platform are the ones they should bet them, bet on going forward. Uh, so look for some of those signs where. Uh, how uh, these capabilities or these technologies are converging into a platform would be a good indicator as to what they should pick for. Uh, closer to home, uh, Devo has developed some new SIM features. Can you tell us what those are and what motivated the company to add them to the portfolio? Sure, I think uh, as I was mentioning, there is definitely a data explosion as we're trying to bring more data into these platforms. Uh, and one of the a key notion that we wanted to give to the, 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 the data is exploding exponentially, but the budgets are still remaining pretty flat. So what our customers are looking for is a way to uh, manage the data, uh, like I said, uh, hot, warm, cold, etc. So we're bringing in a lot of data orchestration power, which used to be another uh, new emerging technology, but we're kind of subsuming that into the platform itself. So customers have absolute control over what data is stored and how. So that's one. Uh, the second one is around the data convergence that I talked about around uh, bringing all data into one place and being able to create vertical applications. That means opening up a lot of APIs into the platform to make it very flexible. Uh, if it's an MSSP, they want to create a tenant on the fly. They have to programmatically do it as they're onboarding new uh, customers uh, into their environments, et cetera. So that is around the data analytics platform. And the third piece, I would say, is around the technology convergence where the security orchestration, a lot more customers are asking us, why can't your systems come and tell me what is happening in my environment, as opposed to giving me alerts that I have to go investigate and further spend enormous amount of uh, manpower figuring out what is behind that. So that technology convergence is another one. So we are launching uh, ThreatLink, uh, which is a, an umbrella term for a journey for any alert to go from an alert to be a fully contextualized, investigated autonomously or with AI investigated case that has all the information and also responded to in certain cases. Uh, so if it's a phishing attack, the system will identify, understand, figure out the domain, block the domain, and then create all of this into a case for someone to now look at. Is this basically a smart alert with context? Um, uh, the, the smart alert with context is uh, you, you do a lot of enrichment. Okay. Um, the difference here is that it is not only just enriched, but it's also investigated. So okay. there are AI engines that we have built uh, that can interact with the data, try to understand the context of what happened. If someone is running a script in your laptop and changing your S3 bucket permissions, you need to understand that story of what happened. So the AI that actually can connect the dots and create those stories is uh, very different from just making it a little bit more smarter with uh, enrichments. So it's, it, is, it is more of a, here is, the, here is the story of what happened as opposed to a smarter alert. Okay. And, and how well does SIM generally do um, with treating on-prem and cloud data um, with equal ease or, or weight? Uh, pulling data into, um, so I'm assuming the question is when we're collecting the data from enterprise versus from the cloud. Um, I think, I think we don't see a lot of difference. A lot of uh, the data that we pull are mostly from cloud. Um, enterprises, uh, on-prem versions are slowly shrinking. I'd probably say it is less than half at this point as to okay. how much data we pull. But I see a, a continued increase in data being pulled directly from vendors' clouds uh, or from uh, uh, cloud infrastructures uh, that the customer has. Rakesh, close us out with um, some uh, advice about customer for, for customers who aren't sure about whether SIM technology is right for them. What, what sorts of questions should they be asking themselves? Um, there is a, a bunch of industry metrics that you can go after with around size of the organization, your financial, um, your, your uh, market capital, etc. Uh, but I think if a, a company is looking for data-driven decision-making, I think that's the first key step to figuring out, okay, and if you're making data-driven decision-making and that, in, that, that umbrella covers your security aspects as well, then that is the time you need to be start looking at a SIM as well. 
Rakesh Nair of Devo, thank you so much for joining us on the Dark Reading News Desk. Some great insights around SIM technology, both present and future. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me.